I'm going to walk you through the key dimensions that you need to have as you lay out the project. A, you need to have the width of the mattress that's uh, situated between the two hinges. So that will let you build a bed frame, or my recommendation is a partial bed frame, wide enough to hold the mattress uh, and then to use to attach the hinges. So that mattress width, in my case, it was a uh, queen size mattress oriented uh, for a horizontal hinging. So 60 by 80, I built an 80 inch wide bed frame. B, the height of the rail running between the two hinges, uh, that has to be uh, extended such that it will catch the mattress when it's folded up. In my case, I had a 10 inch memory foam mattress. So having about a uh, nine and a half or 10 inch rail, uh, let me accomplish that. C, the width of the partial bed frame should be about 10 inches, which lets you attach that hinge extension that needs to connect to the bed frame. D, the width of the bed frame with the hinges attached. So after you've figured out where the hinges are going on the bed frame, mortise them in, I simply clamp them onto that bed frame to get a total width and to understand the clearance that was going to be required to get the bed frame uh, into the cabinet or into a subframe designed to hold the uh, Murphy bed hinges. Once you know the width of the bed frame with the hinges, you can translate that into the framing elements of the, the subframe. So uh, you'll see I put three uh, framing components in between uh, the, the two sides of the subframe. One anchor bolted to uh, the studs, uh, that, that was a two by four running along the top, a two by two running along the floor, also anchor bolted uh, at the stud locations, and then one more two by two up front to uh, align and stabilize the subframe. E, the distance from the wall to the top of the bed frame when folded up is an important dimension. I chose 12 inches, which gave me two inches clearance plus 10 inches for the mattress before uh, reaching the uh, top of the bed frame. F, the height of the mattress from the floor. I chose 18 inches, which is the standard platform bed height. You can also go with 25 inches. That's more the standard bed height. When you have that dimension, you can determine the length of the legs. Once I walked through the process of laying out the uh, frame and that partial frame component, I used carriage bolts to attach a full frame extension. That gave me plenty of leverage to be able to pull the frame down into position, mark the position of the legs, and get those attached. Hopefully those six items will be helpful to you if you decide to use these Vivor hinges on your own Murphy bed project.